What's up guys? It's your girl Eddie Elise and I am back with another video. If you guys are new here, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that bell button so you are notified every single time that I post. Okay. Okay. So it's, I'm very excited. Maybe I should put an earring on. I'm very excited that tomorrow. So as those of you might not know, or as you guys, some of you guys should know, I do attend FIT NYC. I do go to FIT, and it's so exciting. So, so basically, I wanted to do like a glow up, a back to school glow up type of vibe, but I got my eyelashes done already. Let me actually brush them. I got my eyelashes done already. I got my nails done already. I didn't record any of it. And I did my eyebrows off camera. Because I do my own eye. Well, sometimes I do my own eyebrows. If I don't do my own eyebrows, then I get them threaded. But what's left for me to do is my face mask. Which you guys know I love so much this is the only face mask I ever use detox clay mask from muddy body um this is my holy grail I have a review on this product right here so I'm just gonna basically do it I have a coupon code for this it's Eddie Elise 15 and you get 15% off your purchase, but they're not expensive. So it'll probably come out to $18 for this big thing. And this will probably last you a good few months. There's different ones that you could use. There's facial cleansers and everything. And if you guys want a review on that, um, just comment down below. But you can use that discount code. Let's just get straight into it, I guess. Um, if those of you guys don't know, I go to FIT in the city, New York City. For those of you guys who are not from New York and is like, what city are you talking about? Um, yes, I attend FIT. Um, I wasn't always attending FIT. So, for those of you guys who don't know, I went to Johnson & Wales University in, I'm just mixing it up, in North Miami, Florida. For a year, I completed a whole year there. But the problem with Johnson and Wales, and the reason why I left, I don't think I ever discussed this. I don't remember ever discussing this. But the reason why I left is when I first applied, the reason for me going to Johnson and Wales University in Miami was because I really wanted to get away. I didn't want to stay in New York. I wanted to experience the dorm lifestyle. You know. I really wanted to experience all of that to go and when I was looking into colleges my sister went to Johnson & Wales so I was familiar with that but she went for culinary arts and Johnson & Wales is known for culinary arts but they had a fashion program and I started not liking the school only because of the academics like I wasn't learning anything as a fashion major I was a retail and fashion merchandising major and I just feel like I wasn't learning anything there like I wasn't learning anything so I had to up and leave, honey. But the problem is, I was saying to myself, you know what, I already completed a year here, I'll just do two years here, get my associates, move back to New York, try to get my bachelor's elsewhere. And that's it, because I really wanted to do fashion, I was really into fashion, so what better place to be than New York? And I'm originally from New York. So, that's kind of how that went that was my plan but looking into that i realized that johnson and wales oh girl i put too much in here johnson and wales was a um a private school and transferring out of johnson and wales a lot of your credits depending on what school you transfer to won't transfer over because they were a private school and because they had trimesters instead of semesters like it was like this whole complicated thing but that was what was happening then I realized that in my major my fashion merchandising and retail major 
there was no such thing as an associate's degree program. So basically, I was kind of like effed in a way because I couldn't get my associates. So if I was to do two years there, I would leave without my associates. I would have to complete the four years. And that's kind of where they got me. And when I found that out, I was actually like, is it even worth it? Should I just give up? Because a lot of people in the fashion department that I was um, friends with, they found that out way too late and they kind of regret it like they were kind of like forced to stay there to get their bachelor's because I mean when you're two years in or three years into a degree and you can't even at least get your associates you basically and then your credit zone transfer you're basically starting off as a freshman again after you just devoted three years two years of your life so I made the executive decision to to give up my year and move back home but now the story gets better I decided to move to withdraw from Johnson & Wales way too late to apply for FIT and I was dead set on FIT I wasn't gonna go to any other school because I'm just not. I really think that something's gonna happen and I repeat it over and over again until it actually happens. So there was no, in my head there was no, there was no such thing as me not attending FIT. That just wasn't in my head. So um, it was too late to actually, you know, apply to FIT so I had to wait out a semester, unfortunately which was kind of like a bummer but for me it was worth it so i applied to fit not knowing if i would get accepted not knowing what would happen if i didn't get accepted but that really wasn't an option and guys when i tell you oh girl hold on don't fall when i tell you guys that manifestation is really real and what i mean by that is if you believe in something so much, it will happen, you know? If you really sit there and say, you know, this is going to happen, I'm going to get this job, or, you know, I'm going to be successful, or I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to eat healthy, you go into now tricking your mind. It's all really mind over matter. Because your mind is super powerful. You understand what I'm saying? So, those of you guys who want to get more into, like, your mindset and stuff, again, I recommend The Secret by Rhonda Barnes. But yeah, that's that. Now, what major did I go into when I first attended, well, still, when I applied for FIT? I applied for the Fashion Business Management Program. Because I knew, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in another video, but I knew fashion design just was not for me. And I knew that because a lot of you guys don't know, I went to Fashion Industries, the high school, for my first year of high school. And that's where I figured out that fashion design just was not for me. Um, so, that's my major, fashion business management. And in my first semester, so I talked to my academic advisor and I seen what credits transferred over from Johnson & Wales. And it wasn't a lot of credits, but it did help me out. Meaning like I'm able to graduate with my associates in three semesters instead of four semesters, which is two whole years. So a year and a half instead of two whole years. So I'm thankful for that, but I am still behind a year and a half. But the classes I took last semester, my first semester was fashion business management or fashion, fashion business practices, um, marketing, communications, I took 
merchandising math. Um, I took Excel and I also took product development and then the last class that I took was art history, renaissance art history or whatever it was. I hated that class guys, like literally it was a whole bunch of memorizing ancient paintings and this and that and third that I just didn't agree with. I didn't learn anything in that class, let's just say that. But those are the six classes that I took last semester and I was doing that while full time in my job. <laughs> Hello. Um, but this time around, I have six classes as well and these classes are, I have statistics, I have macroeconomics, I have um, fitness training which is like a gym because we're mandated to take a gym which I don't understand this is not high school. Um, fitness training, I have fashion merchandising, I have global marketing and then I also have a team development class which is I guess to like help on your team communication and your team um team working skills or team skills so that's that however this semester I am not working I decided to take that off and just focus on you guys and focus on um school and I also and why I didn't want to jump straight into a job again is because I also wanted to get a internship and what best way to get an internship than just doing it like I'm just gonna go for it and do it how internships work guys I also need an internship for credit so I might as well do that knock that out the park this semester but how internships work is some of them pay, some of them don't. And just because an internship comes my way and they don't pay, if it's a really good internship, sometimes just being able to put that on your resume is worth so much money that you'll get that in return. So it's worth the um, loss of the money that you are not making. And a lot of the times when you're doing an internship that is not paid, you're not working as much as often so that's another thing to keep in mind but I really don't mind paid or not I just want to jump into an internship so I could actually find my true calling and if buying is something I want to do or if I want to go into marketing or if I want to um, go into product development or wholesaling like I don't really know yet until I get into the actual field and I start to dibble and dabble in it Okay. So yeah, so tomorrow is my first day of school and I'm so excited. I'm going to take you guys with me and um, yeah, guys, I graduate in May with my associates and that is such a big accomplishment for me because at the end of the day, I'm not the biggest fan of school. But I can say when you enjoy what you're learning, like I just crave learning because everything that I'm learning, although I can put it into like my future career as a buyer, whatever field that I decide to go into, um, not only can I put what I'm learning towards that, but I can also put what I'm learning towards my own business. A lot of you guys know that I do have my own business at 50 shades nyc on instagram www.50shadesnyc.com and i sell super dope shades i love learning because especially when you're owning a business you a lot of entrepreneurs go into the entrepreneurship lifestyle not really knowing the statistics of it and the actual struggles of entrepreneurship and um realistically like you're gonna fail and like for those of you guys that comment on my um i mean comment on my stories and dm me 
like oh how do you start your own business or like what advice can you give somebody that wants to start their own business never be afraid of failure if you're afraid of failure you're never going to succeed and again success is at your own dispense basically success is what you think success is i cannot tell you what a successful person is or what success is you make up whatever your version of success is success doesn't always have to be a lot of money or being rich or anything it's not about that but to be successful in a business you're gonna have to fail because that's the only way you learn through failing and picking back up and getting back again and going straight at it you know if you have the mentality that I'm never gonna fail you know all this is perfect and I'm gonna just get right to it and I'm gonna succeed right off the bat yeah you have a chance of that and yeah you can manifest it but reality is you're going to end up coming through complications and maybe it's not failing but you might have complications in your business and keeping your head high and realizing that there's a chance of that will help you so that when it does happen you're not like oh my god I can't I can't go on anymore like maybe this is not for me this and third just really realize what the reality of entrepreneurship is and yeah it's hard but those of you guys there's a lot of people don't mind my hands I have the face mask on my hands but there's a lot of people that want to go into um the business life or the entrepreneurship life that isn't a business major they might be a criminal justice major or they might be a culinary arts major one thing I do recommend is taking a business course I'm pretty sure I had this conversation on one of my other videos but definitely taking a business course it's essential that's something that you really do need to have under your belt to have um, a common understanding of how businesses work how to license your business how to um start a business and like you know the terminology in business so that when you're talking to somebody else you could have an intellectual conversation and that could possibly open up more doors for you so definitely taking a business course is essential you don't have to be a business major but you do have to invest in a business course and as time goes through being an entrepreneur you are going to see that you have to teach yourself some stuff so like being an owner you have to dibble and dabble in everything so although like my major doesn't force me to take accounting but I know at one point I'm going to have to at least take a course on accounting so I know the basics on accounting so that I know once I hire an accountant for my business I know let's just say they're not trying to jit me or they're not trying to steal from me or what they're doing is on the right path and stuff like that and I don't get screwed over in the long run. It's little things like this with anything that you do it's always good to educate yourself and just to have that knowledge because educating yourself never hurts. So if any of you guys are looking into owning a business or starting a business or becoming an entrepreneur whether it's selling freaking lollipops at the corner definitely look into some marketing some business books if even if you can't find any courses um definitely pick up a book go to barnes and noble or the library also using your resources to your advantage you have you guys don't understand that what you guys have at your fingertips is so powerful and when i say what you guys have at your fingertips you guys are probably like oh, what is she talking about i don't have anything on my fingertips no like everybody I'm pretty sure everybody has a phone and that is the powerfulest thing ever think about it like back then they never had phones like we had phones like they didn't have a computer they didn't have a phone that they didn't have Google that worked 24 hours in a day you know what I'm saying that I could easily look up what's going on in Japan right now and I could see what's going on in Japan right now like we have this technology that we're not taking advantage of and it's like so dumb on our behalf like girl guy come on take advantage of your resources if you want something really bad it's gonna come and 
greatness is inevitable guys greatness is inevitable so just know that it might not happen tomorrow well it's not gonna happen tomorrow i could tell you that much it's not gonna happen tomorrow it might not happen next week it might not happen in two weeks from now a month from now a year from now or five years from now but if this is something that you really want and and again this doesn't only go for owning your own business this also goes for anything in life if it's something that you want and you're constantly going at it going at it going at it going at it eventually it will happen things don't happen overnight and you really have to be in love with the process you know the process of getting there you have to love you know what I'm saying because if you don't like the process either you might get there and just hate it or you might not even get to the place that you want to be because you hate the process so much that you can't even take it anymore so that's my little business rant and what's going on in my life hello but um follow me on instagram because i'm super active on instagram and for those of you guys who ask me what was i gonna say oh for those of you guys who ask me okay like after college what do you want to do what where do you want to go are you going to stay in new york um i do want to stay in new york i want to experience being rich in new york that sounds crazy but if you're from new york you understand you know what i'm saying like apartments out here are super expensive and then you don't get your bang for your buck i'm very picky when it comes to like apartment hunting and stuff like that and like i want an updated kitchen and i want an updated bathroom and i want hardwood floors and i want you know great lighting but in new york those things come with a price a very expensive price it's not like atlanta or miami where it's cheaper to live so for those of you guys who live in new york or are familiar with new york you know what i mean when i say i want to experience being rich or having a lot of money in new york eventually i do want to move out of new york and i do want to look into moving to la and yeah i already lived in miami i know for a fact that's not the place for me to live but yeah that's that's what my plans are but i have to get my bachelor's i might even get my master's i just don't know exactly you know what i would be getting my master's in yet just yet but yeah anyways i'm gonna go wash this off and then i'll be right back to close out this video peace my next video is going to be uh first day of school getting ready with me and following me um throughout all my classes and throughout my day so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background information of how I even got to FIT what my thought process was did I have any college experience before that if I did why did I transfer I just wanted to give you background information so you guys are not confused tomorrow or whenever I decide to post the getting ready first day of school getting ready with me okay so as you guys know make sure you like comment share subscribe and most importantly hit that bell button so you are notified every single time that i post and i will be back with another video comment down below what you want to see because you know i give you guys everything that you want peace